Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of an encephaly, which is a lethal congenital anomaly in a fetus of about 27 weeks of gestational age. You can see the placenta, which is partially posteriorly attached and partially left later. You can see the head of the fetus and the brain matter is protruding out of the partially missing cranial vault. This is the brain matter. Anencaply is a lethal congenital anomaly which can be detected on ultrasound as early as 11 weeks of gestation. If some amount of neural tissue is present, the condition is termed as exencephaly. Polyadrenals is usually associated with neural tube defects. No treatment option is available for anencephaly. Now you can see the eyes of the fetus with nose. Anencephaly can theoretically be diagnosed as early as 8 weeks. However, it can be missed in the first trimester. There is 100% accuracy in the second trimester for this diagnosis by ultrasound. One study showed sonography alone was 97% sensitive and 100% specific in diagnosing an open neural tube defect. You can see the fetal cardiac activity which looks to be eco normal. By ultrasound, the appearance will resemble Mickey Mouse ears. Additionally, a measurement from the top to head of the rump, top of the head to the rump crown, rump length of CRL is significantly reduced in affected fetuses in the first trimester. Now you can see the spines of the fetus and you can see this spina bifida is also seen. An infant born with anencephaly has some or most of the brain missing. These infants are unconscious, cannot feel, and are usually blind and deaf. Infant with, infants with anencephaly are still born in about 75% of cases. Newborn who survive die within several hours, days, or weeks. Anencephaly is when neural tube fails to close. At the base of the skull, skull, neural tube defects may be caused by gene passed from both parents and by environmental factors. Some of these factors include obesity, uncontrolled diabetes in the mother, and some prescribing medicines. Now you can see the femurs, both the femurs, fetal abdomen. and now the upper limbs you know you can see the all the fingers of the fetus are visible This is hand of the fetus. These findings demonstrate that anencephaly can be reliably diagnosed at the routine 10 to 20, 14 weeks ultrasound scan, provided specific search is made for the sonographic features of this condition. Anencephaly is one of the most lethal congenital defects and this, court, this case report the anencephalic infant with 27 weeks of gestational age. You can see the foot, the low limbs of the fetus.
It is believed that getting enough folic acid before and during early pregnancy can help prevent neural tube defects such as anencephaly. If you are pregnant or could get pregnant, take 400 micrograms of folic acid every day. One disorder similar to anencephaly in some ways is microcephaly. A baby with, born with this condition has a smaller than normal head circumference, unlike anencephaly, which is apparent as birth. Microcephaly may or may not be present at birth. It can develop within the first few years of life. Most cases of anencephaly are sporadic, which means they occur in people with no history of the disorder in their family. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.